Coil? Hi, Monsieur. Sorry to just barge in like this. I uh, would have had your secretary buzz you, but she uh, ran past me on the way out of the foyer screaming, so... I thought you were the Red Army! Did you bring the petrol? Red Army? Oh, no. No, they won't be here for God. Hours. Come on, lads, bring the board in. No, I'm here for our bi-weekly Wonder Weapon meeting. It's not a bad time, is it, mein Führer? Oh, I love Wonder Weapons, though I was planning on getting married today. I suppose I've got time to do both. Yeah, maybe. Just that is great. Thank you, Fritz. Um, right, must be getting you back to the front, hadn't we? It's uh, just up the stairs, first door on your left. That is, of course, unless they've broken through our defences, in which case it's just up the stairs, really. Oh, don't look so scared, Fritz. Do you want an Iron Cross? Yeah, there we go. Here, have an Iron Cross. Remember, soldier, whilst you're up there holding back the tanks of the Red Army, we'll be right below you, finishing these wonder weapons. They'll secure us a fantastic victory from the jaws of defeat. Tell me, Major, how is the new long barrel Sturmgewehr looking? Oh yeah, yeah, about that. Funny story, and uh, this is a cracker. The uh, lads are at the factory, right? And uh, you won't believe what happens next. Allied bombing raid starts. Well, I, you might believe that, but in all the panic, one of the workers drops the gun on the floor, bends the barrel. Upshot is, it uh, shoots around corners now. Ah, fantastic! The Fuhrer bunker must have one! Could be very useful. Oh, yeah, doesn't do stairs, though. Yeah, not what I was thinking. This bend, could you make it go 180 degrees? Oh, all right, yeah, we'll uh, look into it. Same, if all goes to plan. Yeah, anyway, um, moving on, my Fuhrer, the anti-tank dog programme hit a bit of a uh, snag, really, um, right out of the gates. Ah, all the Soviet tanks have already been destroyed. Oh, yeah, no, no, turns out we can't get any dogs in Berlin. They've all been uh, eaten. Instead of dogs, have we tried strapping our men to the bombs? Oh, I think you mean the uh, ME-163 rocket interceptor, mine Führer. Yes, they have been causing quite a bit of a stir, which is bad news, actually, because uh, the fuels don't mix well, so they keep exploding. Good news is, though, we're out of fuel, so losses are down this week. Not all doom and gloom, hey. Anyway, if that's everything, I've got a bit of a loaded schedule today. That is unless you've got any tank designs for me to look at. Um, no, no new tanks in development. We've, uh, got no, uh, steel. Oh, well, I suppose I'll see you in two weeks. Sure. <laughs> that is, of course, unless you want to design one right now. Ah, I thought you said we had no steel. Um, yeah, no, I think I misspoke when I said design one right now. What I meant was design one right now. Uh, well, one tank can make the difference. Look at Villas Bocage. Yeah, bloody Villas Bocage. This could be Villas Bocage 1945. We've just got to crew this one tank with our most elite panzer aces. Ooh, yeah, that could be uh, tricky. You know our panzer divisions? They've been dismantled. Well, what's Michael Vittman doing these days? Oh, Vittman, yeah, no. Yeah, he was very good, wasn't he? Yeah, no, he's been uh, very dismantled. Scattered his ashes over northern France. Not deliberately, you understand? No, I think if we're going to crew this tank, we're going to have to think old school. Yes, the old school behind where the bakery was. Most of them have probably been evacuated, but I'm sure we could cobble together a, a squad of eager young recruits. Well, I was going to say old men, but I suppose they eat more than children, don't they? So, economically speaking, great idea. Thing is, the Red Army is quite big, isn't it? What? Yeah, it is. So this tank is going to need to be quite big and heavy to take it on. Hmm, yeah, yeah, big. I love it. How many, uh, how many tons, my Fuhrer? Go on, pick a number. Any number. A ton for every year of the Reich! I thought you said you wanted a heavy tank. A thousand tons for a thousand year Reich! Oh yeah, of course. A thousand tons, no. Sounds great, yeah. Um, oh, just one thing. Um, it's a lot of armour. It's not going to be able to go over bridges. Oh, that's fine. There aren't any bridges in Berlin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I miss those. Ah, we do still have roads, though. Until it drives on them. Scorched earth 
tactics, right? The enemy won't be able to flank us if there are no roads to flank us on, yeah? Now, to see over the Berlin skyline, I've calculated it's gonna have to be 11 meters tall. 11 meters, wow, really? Um, you don't get out very much, do you? All right, look, Devil's Advocate, it's gonna stand out a bit amongst the rubble. Um, the enemy are gonna spot it from quite a long way away, like Novgorod. And they'll run in the opposite direction. Oh yeah, of course. So don't get hit by their own air support, eh? Oh, we're gonna need to give this some serious anti-aircraft guns. Goering has assured me that we'll have complete air superiority when we launch our new summer offensive. Now, rolling our way to Moscow, we'll use a lot of fuel, right? So once we've conquered Red Square, we should thrust south and seize their oil fields. Brilliant strategy as always. The general's gonna love that. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna stick some anti-aircraft turrets on there, just in case some of their air support makes it through. What about verbal wind turrets? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of them lying around, haven't we? I mean, they're in used condition, but they work. Well, they would if we had any ammunition. Wow, this thing's like a land battleship, and not like that steaming pile of ship, the Bismarck. What a load of crap that turned out to be. Hey, there's an idea. We could take a gun turret off the Gneisenau and put it on this tank. The guns of a heavy cruiser? Yeah. Oh, you're crazy. What? I meant you're brilliant. Yeah. Well, draw it then. Now, when it comes to building this monster, I want the best workers Germany can muster. Yeah, they're great once they get their bread. You'd love them. Well, you might not, but, you know, there's very little sabotage these days. Brilliant! Fire up the factories. Let's build a prototype slash final version. Oh, yeah. Just one last little inconsequential thing, mein Führer. Um, we are still a bit low on steel, as it happens. Um, so I'd best fly to Sweden ASAP, you know, secure some iron ore. In fact, I might go right now, you know, no time like the present. Okay, sounds good. I came up with a name, by the way. All right, great. Um, I'll leave this with you, yeah? See you later, ethnic hater. I'm gonna call it the P-1000 Land Cruiser. I don't give a rat's arse, mate. What's that? Something about a rat? Yep. He's in there. Evo Shanks? Maybe. My name is Detective Inspector Jacques Patisserie. We've received a number of reports of people seen entering this premises and never coming out again. I'm here to search the building. You can't go in the bathroom. Yes, hmm, but what if I need a wee? It's my wife. She's in there. And there's a public toilet around the corner anyway. Yes, but I don't have any money. Hang on. Have you not heard of Curve? Curve? What's that? Curve? Oh, it's great. It lets you combine your whole wallet into a single app, including your loyalty cards. So you only have to carry one card with you. It's not a bank exactly, but it sort of supercharges your existing bank accounts, like HSBC and Monzo, with added rewards and benefits. Oh, it'll only take you a minute to sign up to Curve. Was that a duck to tip on his myth? And you get instant cash back with all your favourite retailers, like Amazon, Steam and B&Q. It's just money back into your account. No strings attached. And with their new anti-embarrassment feature, you don't have to worry about maxing out your cards either. If you've not got the money on one account, it'll just swap seamlessly to another one. Ah, yes, yes, très bon. That sounds very good. Uh, what is the uh, catch? Catch? I've never caught anyone. Ah, you can get a breakdown of all your balances across all your accounts and see what you've spent. So you can keep on top of all your finances. Honestly, it's changed my life. I used to get so nervous buying gifts for all my friends, but now... They can't move for presents. It's like they never want to go home. <laughs> well, that seems very really good. Uh, I'm going to head back to the station and get that downloaded. There's obviously nothing untoward going on here. Uh, where do I sign up? Well, it's available on Android and iOS, and if you download from the link in the description, you'll get five pounds for free when you add a card and make your first purchase, however small it is. It's free money. Bon, have a nice day. Oh, thank you, officer. Yeah, we will. <sighs> Showtime.